Good Saturday morning. Sorry for the lighting and it's noisy. I want to start eating so I wanted to video real quick but I've got my keto collagen water, keto collagen scoop and uh, heavy whipping cream. I made up a bunch of bacon. I've already eaten two pieces. I'll probably eat a couple pieces more. I might or might not make eggs. I'm not sure. Um, I'll talk to you in a second. Let me turn it around. So we had a really interesting night last night. We stayed up late to watch a movie and then um, from about 1 to probably 4.30, Henry was really not feeling well and um, ended up um, vomiting. And he shares that actually it's a triple bunk bed with Oscar and Ezra. We had it custom made and um, so there's quite a bit of cleanup between Henry sleeps in the middle and Ezra's on the bottom and you got both Henry's bed and Ezra's bed. So that was a really fun experience. So I woke up this morning around 8 and then immediately fell back asleep. I didn't feel good myself and I think it was just lack of sleep and a weird night because we really didn't sleep until probably 4.30. Um, and then I woke up at 11. I couldn't believe it. I, I haven't slept until 11. I don't even think as an adult, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Except for maybe if I'm sick. But, um, so yeah, we've just done some odds and ends. I've been working on washing all the bedding and um, making food. So, have to go to Walmart for sure and Sprouts probably today because um, I've got to get some stuff that we're out of. And then also, um, my mother's stuff for my Mother's Day meal tomorrow, which will be kebabs. Um, I don't video on Sundays, so you'll just have to know that's what I'm having. But here's a little hint and a teaser. I'm part of a grilling collab, and I you might see that actually see the video for the grilling video for tomorrow later on this month. So anyway, yeah, I'm just making up a bunch of bacon, taking my sole, and starting the day out. It's two o'clock. Uh, it's the first thing I've eaten today so far, so. That's how things are going down so far. So this is what things are looking like for me right now. Bacon. I have eaten probably nine pieces of bacon. I didn't even count, but I ate a lot. And I drank my keto collagen and my sole water. Um, I, When I'm finished with this, I will have made four packs of bacon. I just decided that I'm going to go ahead and make up a bunch of bacon. I ate a bunch. I gave a bunch to Henry, some to Esther, some to Claire. And then it's in the fridge and ready to go because, you know, bacon is kind of like the perfect food in a way besides eggs. Eggs are pretty good for you too, but just meaty, fatty, they fill you up. It actually tastes good, whereas eggs, I hate them even though I think they're like probably the perfect food. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I just wanted to have some bacon on hand. I was really uh, struggling a little bit this morning because I woke up so late and I had a really rough night and my goodness I haven't had a night like that in so long like with having 12 kids we we've, we've had some weird nights throughout our parenting years um, but Henry's almost nine and so it's been a while since we've had to do like middle of the night stuff so it's kind of hard on me <laughs> I'm just not used to it anymore um, so when I first woke up I was kind of thinking uh, it's Mother's Day weekend maybe I'll just take the weekend off of keto and you know it's no big deal and then and I've done so great this week that I was um I, I think maybe in some ways I thought that it would be okay in other ways I thought no don't you've done really good this week but anyway um, I started watching keto videos so that's what I'm doing I'm, I'm making bacon and I've just had my phone plugged in over here this is an old thing that still works but it's got this but so it's just plugged in and I'm just making bacon and watching keto videos and started out with Michelle Rock um, and it just reminded me no I'm in this for the long haul this is the rest of my life I'm keto and I you know I, I, I can't just keep taking t things off even though it's been really hard for me this quarantine and bronchitis and I think I've gone off keto for like a full day like probably five times now and I've had like a couple of cheat meals 
and then the rest of the day keto since like well my birthday because it started on my birthday that was the first time that I was like oh, it's my birthday I'm gonna have whatever I want you know and it was good to just catch up on some videos and remind myself you know we're not gonna be in quarantine forever and I just I've got to take care of myself um, and it doesn't matter that I've hardly gained any weight. That's why I keep thinking is, oh, I've hardly gained any weight. I've gained like two pounds. Big deal. Well, yeah, that does actually matter. But what's more important is it's just not good for me. So I was really grateful to have other people to inspire me. And I've watched quite a few different people's videos. And um, we'll continue to watch more throughout the day. Because I've got a lot of laundry from all the vomiting between the two beds to wash. And laundry to fold that's been clean from washing it this week and just some things to do so I'm just gonna kind of hunker down and get prepared for the weekend and I, 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 w I was gonna go off for Mother's Day and now I'm like no you're not you're not this is ridiculous you've got to rein it in and stop doing this so that's what I'm doing and that's my little heart to heart chat how are you guys all doing what are you eating what what things are keeping you sane during this weird quarantine? I like to hear. Um, in our state, we're, we're at safer at home status, which is basically exactly the same as our quarantining. <laughs> There's just not a whole lot different. Um, it's just that they've opened up a few businesses that weren't open before. So, I don't know. It feels weird. And, and I hope you don't mind watching Bacon Cook while I talk. Um, but... Um, we're concerned about our local neighborhood pool opening in time, and um, we had a pool board meeting last night talking about it. Things are just kind of weird. It makes it really hard to stick to regular routines, especially people like myself. I'm pretty structured, and I have an amazing willpower when my life is structured and uh, and things are in control, but when things are kind of weird or different, I it's hard for me. I have a hard time, so... But I'm, I'm proud of what I'm doing. Ooh, I hear the washer. It's going crazy. I gotta go. Alright, so I forgot where I was chatting. I had to go fix the washer. It got unbalanced. Um, but I think I was just kind of talking about how I was struggling and it was good to be inspired by other people and stuff. So I'm proud of myself for kind of getting control when I was feeling tired and stressed and grateful to people who put their stories out there on the internet and, well, YouTube, whatever, so that the rest of us can be reminded and inspired of, you know, why we're doing this and why we need to keep going. So I appreciate it. And I, I can't remember, I think I said it was Michelle Rock. She was the first video I started watching and that was like, okay, yeah, I remember. This is what I'm doing. This is why I'm doing it and so forth. And there's no cheating that's like really actually worth it to be honest. And oh I think I was talking about weight loss because I think I've only gained a couple of pounds and, and part of me is kind of like no big deal. But you know that is a slippery slope because yeah I'm, I'm still barely like I've gained a couple of pounds and it really isn't that big of a deal but it is a big deal if I keep saying well I'm you know weight wise I'm fine so anyway just thought I'd chat with you for a second while I do this and uh, I think I'm not actually going to get back to watching videos um, and and then I think I was asking about what everyone's up to and how they're doing on quarantine and what meals you're making I feel kind of like I'm tired of the same old thing you know so, and I don't really feel like making fancy things, so, I don't know. Anyway, let me know what you're up to. So I'm just going to make some peach herbal tea in this jar and put it in the fridge so I can drink it, like, tomorrow. Okay, so this is the peach one, and then this is a raspberry, raspberry zinger. They're just herbal teas from Celestial Seasoning. They both have four um, bags per thing, and then I just put really hot water in there to steep it. And then I'm just going to let them sit here for a while, and then um, when they are cool, because they're hot right now, I'll stick them in the fridge overnight. And then tomorrow I'm going to have some, I really like herbal tea drinks with um, heavy whipping cream in them. So 
That's uh, going to be a little Mother's Day treat to myself. Okay, so I've already done a roast. I meant to video earlier and I totally forgot. And I in that one we did liquid aminos because I had that on hand and we're out of coconut aminos. It's really salty. And not exactly the best thing, but I used a little bit of that. This roast we're going to do... I'm going to go buy some coconut aminos before... Like, I'm just going to put all the meat in there and then we'll marinate it. But that's what I'm doing. So this is... I'm kind of meal prepping a little bit for tomorrow and the rest of this week. Getting a bunch of things um, that I like to eat on hand just to help myself. And isn't this a beautiful roast? Look at all that fat. All right. We have fresh wings made today. And we make our own wings. We get them from Costco. We just cook them with nothing. And then about 10 minutes before they're done, we pour the Red Hot's Buffalo sauce on top. And then that's homemade ranch with Parmesan on top, the Kraft Parmesan. That's going to be my dinner. I think an orange fizzy water, as Marna says. I'm going to start calling them fizzy waters. Is uh, going to be a nice treat for tonight's dinner. Fizz popper? Fizz popper? What are the, what's that called on... Uh, what is that show called? Willy Wonka. What do they call him? That oh, was, oh, that's B B that's BFG. Never mind. Okay, yeah. Anyway, yeah, so I'm going to have this with that. Okay, so I'm having two of these um, sugar-free jellos. That's going to be my dessert, and that's going to be the end of my day. Hope you've had a great day, and I will see you later. And if you're a mom or even just if you're a woman, happy Mother's Day. Women are special and amazing and important. You don't have to be an actual mother to matter. That sounds really stupid, but you know what I mean. Mothers are amazing and women are amazing. I really, really hope people understand what I mean. Because I think women are pretty amazing and um, do amazing things. So I hope you pamper yourself tomorrow or get pampered, whether you're a mother or not. So happy Mother's Day.